Hi, Georgina. How are you? We're in the same colours again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, we were going to extend or do an extension, uh, extended uh, version of the sleeping spell. Shall I read through the full instructions that came with it? Um, yes, if you like. Okay, so this is for the sleep spell where you needed uh, lavender oil and a white candle. Um, you can use a tea light like what you're using for your spell, or you can get little spell candles as well that burn out within about half an hour, I think it is, um, which is what I'm going to use. So first, fill the bathroom sink with warm water, or you could use a bowl. Uh, before going to bed every night. Add five to ten drops of lavender oil and splash the water on your face, the back of your neck, your wrists, elbows, stomach, knees and ankles. Then take the white candle into your bedroom and light it without saying a word. Walk clockwise three times around the room of silence, meditating on positive restful thoughts. Imagine yourself sound asleep in bed, having the most restful sleep you've ever had. Finally, blow out the candle and whisper the word sleep and turn in for the night. As you get into bed, feel the softness of the pillow on your head. And as you pull up the covers, imagine that you're in a protective cocoon and know that as soon as you close your eyes, you will soon be lulled into a wonderfully restful sleep. This whole spell does not need to be repeated in full each night. Instead, simply splash yourself with the lavender water and light the candle for a few minutes each night before retiring and then whisper sleep again before blowing it out and getting it into getting into bed. When the candle is completely spent, repeat the original spell with a new white candle. Oh. So I love how simple it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I like it the way it makes me already feel peaceful and I was going like this with my eyes um, yes. it's also the way your voice but just to, to say <laughs> things calmly um, that will also bring peace within you oh, yeah. God, it's really working <laughs> I haven't even got the candle <laughs> yeah okay next <laughs> um, but uh, again if you want to know what lavender does or chamomile or any of the other herbs that we mentioned last time, look at this book in the back. Millie is eager to learn. Yeah, even Millie's there for interested. <laughs> Don't stop picking the book, you stupid dog. OK. Um, and what else were we going to do? Uh, were we going to look at the uh, different colours of the spell candles? Oh yes, that's a good idea. Um, that will lead in and it'll explain why there's a white candle used for the sleep spell. Okay. Uh, candle magic. Candle magic is very powerful, yet quite easy to apply. Candle colour is very important when performing magic. For each colour emits emits a particular vibration and attracts certain influences. Any type of candle can be used for spells as long as it has been cleansed and consecrated prior to use. This spell removes all negative energies that the candle has picked up along the way. To cleanse and consecrate the, ca uh, the candle, submerge it in salt water and then ask the Lord and lady to bless it in your own words. Before beginning your spell with this consecrated candle, it must be properly dressed. Dressing a candle with oil is an important as uh, with oil is as important as any other step. Use whatever oil you prefer. Or what a specific spell asks you to use. I use mirth oil unless otherwise specified. The direction you, you dress the candle is important. To bring something to you, rub the candle 
on rub oil on the candle in a downward motion from top to bottom and to send something away from you rub the oil up from the bottom to the top never make a back or forward forward motion as this defeats the purpose you can down dab the remaining oil on your fingers onto your third eye then say this candle has been consecrated in the name of the Lord and the Lady. May it burn bright and do my bidding. Then state your intent or the purpose of the candle and bring your spell and begin your spell. Here are various candle colors and their magical properties. Red. Shall we do one? Uh, uh, you do one, I do one, you do one. Okay. Yeah. Gives me a bit of a break as well. Yeah. Red. Red is, I also use red when I do meditation to root myself, ground myself. That's the root chakra. In the book it says strength, power, energy, health, vigor, enthusiasm, courage, passion, sexuality, protection. Some practitioners also use red candles to summon their spirit guides. And then purple or violet is highly spiritual and traditionally connected to mysticism, uh, inspiration, wisdom, idealism, purification, success, peace and power. Then we have magneta. And that magneta is like a cyclamen pink, I think. Yes. Uh, I, 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 sorry? Magenta. Magenta, okay. Yeah, one of those weird words. Um, perhaps I said it in a Dutch way, magenta. Yeah. <laughs> a very high vibrational frequency that tends to work quickly. This colour energises rituals where immediate action and high levels of power or spiritual healing are required, such a, as quick changes, exorcism, or spiritual healing. And then we have brown. Along with a green candle, brown is used to attract money and financial success. It aids in emotional stability and balance, it eliminates indecisiveness, it improves powers of concentration, study, intuition, and telepathy also connects to finding lost objects, aids in the protection of familiars and household pets, as well as animal healing. Okay. Then we have indigo. Is, indigo is used to cleanse the spirit and remove fear, used in rituals that require a deep meditative state to neutralize an other's magic or to counteract negative energy. And then we have blue, uh, a colour that soothes and relaxes. Blue is a primary spiritual colour used in rituals to obtain wisdom, tranquility, harmony, peace, inner light and truth. Connects to inspiration, cult power, protection, understanding, good health, patience and loyalty. It promotes happiness, laughter and jovility. And I also connect it with Archangel Michael as well. Yeah, I was just thinking about that yeah. um, because that's the throat chakra, the blue chakra and also indigo um, and purple is the third eye. Yeah. Um, also blue is the colour of service. Oh, OK. Green stimulates work involving financial issues and money, aids good fortune prosperity, luck, ambition and success. It is also an emotional soother and balancer, the heart chakra, used to con counteract greed and jealousy. And then we have silver or grey, uh, neutral colours that remove negative energy or influences and encourages stability. 
Uh, useful when pondering complex issues during meditation and in magic. This colour often sparks confusion. Yeah. It also negates or neutralises when needed. Helps develop psychic abilities. And I associate it with our higher chakras as well. Um, I think that would be the white one, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, we've got we've got our crown chakra, but there's also two more that are higher up from us as well, which I've only recently learnt about. And one of them is silver, and one of them is more of a gold colour, like the halo. Yeah. Then we have black. When burned for positive purposes, this colour opens up the deeper levels of the unconscious. Black is used in rituals to induce a deep meditational state and is good for banishing evil and negativity. Connects to self-control, quite powerful. Uh, sorry, to self-control, quite power. Quiet, quiet power, okay. Um, and resilience, as it absorbs negativity and destroys it. Offers strength and support in spells. Protects from retribu retribution and is also an aid during loss. And then we have white. Uh, a balance of all the colours. White is great for meditation, healing, spiritual enlightenment, cleansing, clairvoyance and truth seeking. It also assists with spirit communication, brings peace and releases positive energy. A white candle may be substituted for any colour candle. Then we have gold. White is the light, Archangel Metatron, Crown Chakra. Gold allows understanding, brings about fast luck or money, solar energy to heal all inner wounds, money smarts, prosperity, wealth, money attraction. Well, I better go and get a whole box of them. <laughs> <laughs> plus green, plus brown. Something else that I've just popped into my head. A lot of the time when setting up an altar, we'll have a gold candle and a silver candle to represent the god and um, goddess. Yeah, so you've got high to get the tarot card for the high priestess, the white pillar and the dark pillar. Yeah. The yin and the yang, the balance, and the shadow work and the light work. And then we can go on to the herbs. I'm just going to name some of the herbs that you can anoint uh, the candles with. Aloe. 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 That's aloe. Yeah. For beauty, protection, success and peace. Aloe has always been well known for its healing qualities from the plant or in gel form. It is often used on burns and can relieve uh, poison ivy rash. Then you've got amareth. Amar how, how would you say that? Amareth? Amaranth, yeah. Something along those lines. I've not heard of it before. Uh, do you see the word next to it? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say that though. <laughs> no, I'm uh, there, this is also there is also another name for this herb which is not cannot be repeated on live video. Sorry, guys. Sounds rather it, rude. It is yes, it is. It sounds rude, but it isn't. No. It is said to repair broken hearts. Angelic root is angel uh, angelica angelic for protection and also exorcism. This plant builds female and creative energy, bringing inspiration and helping new ideas to grow and build a foundation. Grow Angelica in the garden for protection. Carry the root with you as an amulet. Burn the dry leaves in exorcism rituals, uh, an aromatic herb. It is sometimes used to flavour liquor. Mm. Well, I'm just going to name a few. Anise, aniseed, basil, bay, uh, caraway, uh, cardamom, 
I haven't even heard of that one. Cardamon. A stimulant, yeah, really stimulant to the mind and it warms the body. Catnip, chamomile, uh, cayenne pepper, cinnamon, clove, uh, myrrh, dandelion, fendel, lavender, jupiner benny, berries, garlic, ginseng. I'm just going to nutmeg, a lot of the herbs you already have in the cupboard. Orange yes. peel, parsley, mint, spare mint, um, poppy, rose, rosemary, thyme, valerian, tonka beans, witch hazel, uh, yarrow and june. And um, that is a little bit about the herbs. Then we also have um, magical amulets and those are the ank, the arrow, the bell. We've been through you've, most of them you find on your altar. The crown, the cross, the crescent moon, the four leaf clover, lightning bolt, pyramid, square, spiral, the five pointed star, the pentagram and the six pointed star of David and the triangle. Then you've got animals and insects alligator teeth, badger, bat, bear, beaver, and carry on, mole, pig, mouse. Um, then you have the birds. That's my cat, sorry. Birds are chickens, dove, eagle, crow, hawks, owl, parrot, and pheasant, and carry on. In the nature, it is corn, daisy, edelweiss, evergreen tree, feather, uh, four-leafed clover, moon, mushroom, pine cone, snowflake, star, sun and moon and tree. Other objects is Aladdin's lump, Buddha, eye of Horus, fairies, hand of glory, leprechaun, skeleton key, wishbone and then we go on to the magical definition. Pooh, let's keep it there for uh, next week because the magical definition is about different things that you can do like uh, card readings and mirror scrying so we'll get into that next week um, just to close this off next week we'll be doing uh, also um, next week we'll be doing healing spleen for the stomach and spleen and we also will be, that is the spell then, and how you can heal that, what candle you use, uh, also perhaps what tarot card, and then we'll go on to uh, most probably chapter four, because that will be one yeah. other spell, okay? Lovely, thank you very much for being here again. It was a joy to work with you, uh, Georgina. And Thumb, thumbs up for you. <laughs> and you <laughs> and will you be going live this coming saturday or sunday uh possibly i believe so but it's always best to check my facebook page because it's always changing and they're being added um yeah but there's an event section and you can see all the online events that i'm doing okay and you're going to do a meditation for the two moons yes two moons i'm doing uh, monthly meditations now every full moon there's i'll be doing a meditation and um, you make a donation and then it's yours to keep i send you an mp3 through and then you can use that anytime around the full moon and, and each one is slightly different as we're going through the seasons focusing on different aspects of ourselves as well like what we're going to do uh, on uh, the 30th the thir before the 30th or the 31st of October will be doing a theme of Halloween and so keep watching because there will be something that you can do creative and something that you can cook so Halloween is going to be really magic okay thank you very much and take care and stay healthy and safe be blessed okay. bye bye my darling